Coach, how'd, uh, how'd you feel about this game? Um, well, there is, I feel like there was a lot of stretches where we liked what we did. There is, I don't think it was as complete of a game as we saw the couple nights ago in regards to the team side of things. Um, but we, for me, we found goals at the proper time of the game when we needed to score. We scored and our power play got two for us tonight. So that's a huge, huge thing for us. Let's talk about the role that your goaltender played again tonight. Yeah, I thought he was excellent. Early on, he was calm and composed again. and. He looked like he was in total control. So as you said, back to back good games. Ryan, how would you describe that moment where Lanny gets the sort of welcome back from the crowd here? Yeah, it's uh, it, it was a cool thing. Like I normally don't notice things on the bench, but that one I did. Um, and he's been a guy that's traveled with us on some of our dad's trips, and he's like, you know, I don't want to call him. He'll get mad at me. A, a grandpa to a lot of the guys, <laughs> like they love having him around. Um, and even the day after all this stuff went on, he was texting me back and forth. And he, he's just such a, a great person to have around. He means so much to the city and organization that it was really nice to see him back in here again tonight. And it was even better to see the type of emotion that the crowd had for him as well. I think you'll get a text about the grandpa. Right? I don't know. Maybe keep that out of the media. <laughs> To go back on Lana McDonald, but Huberto mentioned to us that when he was coming here and he was going through his struggles, that he was someone that he would text a lot and he would offer a lot of support. What do you know about that relationship between those two men and, and your impressions of, of how Lanny, a legend in this city, has helped a player like Jonathan Huberto get settled in? Yeah, and that's maybe what about Lanny right there is I knew nothing about that. That's the first I've heard of it. So I, I think he has a real good understanding of, hey, when someone might need a text and someone might need a pat on the back. and. Um, He's been a good friend, I think, to all of us, um, which is the coolest part. And the players, like I said, they love him. Um, uh, and he's he's been a blast to have around on road trips, and I can't wait to get him back on some other ones. What were your impressions of Martin Pospisil tonight? Um, I thought Marty was good tonight. Um, he, when he uses his speed, um, I think he makes that line go. Um, it, it, it opens up room for Jonathan and, and you know, Naz, Naz has been Naz all year long. But I think he does a great job of driving the play for that line. Or are you kind of amazed how he seems to be getting under the skin of the likes of Marchand and Suzuki? Like, like is it is it kind of how you feel about, about his ability to do that? Um, well, we like it. I mean, sometimes you like to have more players like that. You know, he's uh, right from when they they found him as a younger player, he had that bit of edge to him, and it's gone away a little bit the last couple of years because of some of his injury issues that he's had. But he's finding out how to play the style of game we need him to play. Um, tonight, you have to be careful with some of the penalties that y you're going to take because that can put you in a tough spot. But we don't ever want to take that edge away from him because that's what makes him an effective player. What's it like trying to tow that line for him? Oh, you want to look at that? It's okay. That's fine. Sorry. Uh, just with Martin, since the suspension, what's it been like trying to get him to stay on that line and not step over it? Uh, he's been fine. I mean, he gets it at the end of the day, but there is. You have to let him be who he is, and I think by him missing a few of those games, he understands, you know, the the difference between right and wrong. So he, he gets it. Uh, Ryan, you've got 15 regular season games left, six points out tonight. What's the headspace, mindset of this team net right now? Um, it's to win our next game, and it, honestly, we've been that way all year long. So we, uh, if we can find a way to win our next game, um, then we stay relevant. I guess you can say in our. Our players, they have to find a way to stay tight as a team. And that's got nothing to do with where we are in the standings, but that's when we play our best hockey. So really the most important part of things is that they do that and they stay consistent with it. Coach, your captain left for a few minutes, returned, scores his 200th goal, yeah. has three points. Maybe a thought on his evening? Same thing for him. He was awesome tonight. Um, again, you look to your leaders all the time. Uh, Michael's been fantastic this year, and I really feel like he's elevated his play on the ice for us this year in a lot of different situations. But um, for me, being able to work with him on a daily basis and see how he's handled the room, he's been fantastic. So it's nice to see him get that goal or goals for us tonight. Ryan, a, a couple of goals so far, not both tonight, but a couple so far for Miramanov will kind of jump out for a bunch of us. But what, what struck you most about what you've seen in, I think, five games from him so far? Um, he's, got, he's got great poise with the puck. That's one thing with him. And I feel like the more that he plays and the more that he feels like, yeah, I'm in here now, I think you're going to see it even get better and better. Um, I, you Sometimes when you look at players like that, you're like, geez, does he get nervous? Does he feel the pressure? Because he's got that kind of vibe about him where he's like, ah, 
no problem. I got this taken care of and um, takes me a little bit to get used to those type of guys for sure. But he's got great poise with the puck. And I think, as I mentioned, the more we see him, the better he's going to continue to get. Has McKenzie been his best partner? Or his best fit for him? Uh, so far, yeah. I think McKenzie's game over the last two or three, they've been the best that he's played in quite a while too. He's been simple, but he's been hard and he's been effective.